Good evening. Um, uh, we have this case of uh, bifurcation of CERC toward the um, uh, OM, major OM, and then the left PDA. The CERC is the dominant vessel. We have a stent here and stent there. You can see. Um, The ocel OM before the stents is involved and then the proximal that if we're gonna call it left PDA also involved before the stent. And here is another view. That's the um, OM and the um, distal serve to our PDA. Here started the intervention XB35 from the radial axis and there is two wires, one toward the OM and one toward the um, uh, PDA and they started to overloon and then the shock wave 2.5 toward the um, CERC and PDA. Now let's stop here. We have, um, uh, see the bifurcation. So the plan was to have um, one stent like a T-technique 2.5 um, uh, toward the PL and then one stand 3.5 from the CERC toward the major OM like this way so here is the um, uh, first stand and it was deployed and then of course um, uh, advanced the balloon to the um, overlap with the prior stent and inflated high pressure then inflate the ossea at high pressure and then here is the results toward the distal so distal circ toward the um, PDAPL is happy now we have this compromise which is the ossea of OM which is a large vessel so here the a small balloon um, won't go through small balloon one go through probably I should probably dilate it more before um, uh, deploying the stand or keep the balloon there before deploying the stand um, at this case or at this point um, since it's not going through we're gonna um, pull it advance it toward the um, uh, circ and try another route of the wire so here we pulled it out of the OM, see, advance it with the balloon, make sure the balloon is going through, it's not like stuck on one of the struts. So since it's going through, now we pull the balloon and the wire and redirect the wire toward the OM again. So we change these struts or uh, make sure there is, it's not behind the struts of the prior stand in the OM. And here is the angiogram before advancing. Here, um, even with the um, uh, guide liner, this balloon doesn't want to go to the um, uh, OM. So either you leave it alone or next or other option. See, we pulled the wire from here. We kept now guide liner toward the area to support it and won't go through. So I opted to go again and dilate this um, area with high pressure to dilate the struts and then try again. And here NC balloon at high pressure again across that area. And here pulled the balloon and the wire again and tried through a um, different route to go through it and now the balloon went through so now we can dilate and of course this is one O balloon or 1.5 balloon and then upgraded to 2 O balloon and here advancing a larger stent 3.5 of course um, I will advance the stent first then unsheath um, the stent and pull the guide liner and here the stent at high pressure and here are the final results of course here is different view and column 
you could um, still go through the struts and do um, uh, kissing balloon, but it was a longer kiss, so stopped here with this um, uh, results. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. See you later.